I bought the cheapest power cage that I could find on Amazon. This, this thing right here. <laughs> um, I've been using it for a few months now, so I wanted to take you through my uh, ordering process, how I made my decision, and the uh, delivery and assembly, so you have all the information you need to know about this thing, so you can make the best decision for yourself. So I've been holding off on getting a power cage for my garage in because well, they're pretty expensive. I was I almost gave up and then I was super surprised to find this one from Balance From on Amazon. This cage that you see, just the uh, four rights, so a four post cage, $200 flat. What I really liked the listing was because on the same listing, so you don't have to go into a different item, on the same Amazon listing for this power cage I balance from, they had all the different accessories and add-ons as uh, variable items that you could select through. One of them, because I really enjoy cable work, is this lat pull-down attachment, which was $100. So what you see here, minus the accessories, $300 for a whole power cage setup with a lap pull down, plate loaded. Um, that was uh, unheard of, I couldn't, I couldn't find anything that low. So I'll put the listing in the description below. The, honestly, for, I'd say the majority of home gym, garage gym doers go, what? For the majority of garage gym lifters, this is more than enough. I want to briefly comment on delivery and packaging, which was better than I expected for something being shipped from China. Props to the delivery guy for lifting it up onto the porch so it'd be out of the rain, but the box was wrapped in plastic to not only keep it from tearing, but I expect it made it a bit more water resistant, which was a nice touch. Inside, the pieces were well wrapped and packed quite efficiently. This open box had the entire power cage in it, and that other box you saw is the lap pull down. So the power cage will go here, here are the four uprights for it. All of this right here is for the power cage. This is also a separate attachment you can buy from the power cage for the lat pull down. We'll go behind it. So I needed both out so I can determine the right distance off the wall here. I assembled this entire thing by myself with just hand tools, so I wanted to roll this footage in case you find it interesting or at least encouraging to take this on by yourself. You don't need power tools, you don't need a second person, although both of those, either of those, would help you get this done a lot faster than I did. You'll see me make a couple mistakes, which prolonged the build, but overall it wasn't bad. I took my time, I enjoyed doing stuff like this, and... Yeah, it's really satisfying at the end. Here is one of those mistakes I mentioned. I put this part in the wrong order. The lap pull down attachment honestly took almost as much time as the power cage itself, just because it was a bit more intricate, especially with the cable pulley system since it attaches at two different ends. But you take your time, you figure it out. Here it is, fully assembled. The power cage I assembled using only these wrenches and it took 50 minutes to do the power cage and then uh, 40 minutes to do just this thing here, but an hour and a half taking your time, doing it by hand, no power tools. I wish I had a socket wrench at least, but I didn't, so not bad. And it's very stable, very solid. Only noticed two issues that came with the power cage, no problems that I've noticed with the um, lad attachment is some chipping of the paint here, but that's cosmetic. And then of all the nuts that they included, lock nuts, uh, this was the only one that was just weird and different. Still does the job, but I might replace it um, later or message the brand, see if they replace it. But really it's nothing that prohibited me from completing the thing and being able to test it out. So I'm just gonna throw on the attachments now the J-hooks, where'd they go? These tiny J-hooks that came with it. And then brackets that are going to mount this rope safety strap. And 
I bought some other attachments, some arms to mount my weights. So I'm gonna do that right now and show you. Okay, here it is with all the accessories attached. So yeah, this is the setup. Pretty sick. Okay. So I just wanted to wrap up with kind of final final thoughts after a few months of use. It is everything I could need. Um, <laughs> more than enough. Really from here on, it's the kind of attachments I want to add to it. Um, but, you know, four solid uprights that I could bolt down if I need to, but my weights, my plates are holding it down. So it's very sturdy. It's the right height for my space. The multi-grip pull-up bar is super versatile. Um, yeah, I, just, I mean, this. I don't really have any complaints. Could it have a better coating, a better finish? Yes, but I take care of my stuff, no problem. The only thing I had to mod is adding some padding to the J cups it came with, but I'm about to get different J cups anyway because those are dainty and they don't inspire the most confidence, even with these safety straps. Um, I think I'd rather upgrade those to something more durable. Uh, your biggest limitation, I gotta say, is maybe the whole size and spacing, but more and more companies are producing uh, varying attachments. You should be able to find something that fits this bar, uh, being a two by two. So yeah, I mean, it it's great. Comes in black, that's great. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't have any complaints. I can't say anything, I, I can only say good things about it. My complaints are very nitpicky and for the price, I totally accept it, so. I hope you enjoyed the video and really the review portion of it is very short. I just got to say it's, it's as advertised, fantastic for the price. Uh, but I hope the video helps you make a decision and let me know if you can assemble it faster than I did. Shouldn't be hard to beat that time. And uh, let me know if you do end up getting this, if you hook it up, how you like it. Uh, yeah, but happy lifting.